Hi, this is Julian for Pro Tools Expert, and for the A to Z of UAD, this week I'm looking at something that's brand new. It's the Marshall JMP2203. The JMP2203 was a 100 watt Marshall head which was brought out by Marshall in the late 70s. Uh, it became extremely popular with the kind of uh, new wave of uh, British heavy metal and people like that. It's it's something that's uh, gone down extremely well with uh, with the metalers and rockers, but it's it's a lot more flexible than that. And I have to say that my all time favourite guitar sound is probably a Strat through a Marshall, although. That's quite a difficult sound to set up, and uh, uh, this thing clearly, from what I've experienced, likes Les Pauls and flatters them greatly, and uh, is quite fussy about exactly what it will give you if you play a Strat through it. However, it sounds fantastic, and like some of UOD's recent amplifier modelling products, it's uh, it uses Unison technology, which means that the impedance on the DI input on your UAD hardware will uh, match to the original hardware it's modelling and uh, it, the pickups in a passive guitar especially will uh, will kind of uh, behave differently depending on which amplifier model you're running. Quick tour of the UI, what we have here is we've got, uh, we've got an amplifier. It's a master volume amp. One of my favourite things to do actually is to crank the master and pull the preamp down to get the uh, power amp valves distorting on a real valve amp. And this does that extremely well. It's got high and a low sensitivity input. Um, it does clean very well actually. I think Marshall clean sounds are kind of underrated because I think they sound very nice. Uh, it's probably important to remember that Marshalls originally, when Jim Marshall first developed his first amplifiers, they were copies of Fender designs and Fender amps are famous for their clean sounds. However, uh, what what Marshall became famous for was uh, higher gain versions of existing designs, which is why they became so popular. And uh, that's uh, lots of other people have said far more about that than than I need to. Uh, Tony Platt was involved in the development of this, and uh, this section over here, we have a uh, choice of uh, microphones. There's no access to cabinets, but choice of different microphones and uh, some basic uh, input stage stuff. Um, so what we have here is a pair of 414s, uh, different ones, they do sound different as well, 57, SM7, and a 251, which is a room mic. Uh, they're panable and uh, individually fadable, switch them in and out. Uh, some basic EQ and a gate. Gate, very very useful on high gain amplifier like this, if you're into your chuggy chug chug stuff. And a, uh, uh, and a master output volume control to pull it all back to sensible uh, where you, wherever you want it. So, what does it sound like? I don't have a Les Paul, unfortunately, but playing a Strat through it, it's extremely responsive. It's one of those things that, I have to say, Unison-equipped guitar products, uh, you have to play them to really appreciate. They just feel different, and they feel better. I first noticed it with the Rat, which I think was the first of the UAD things to have Unison on it. But anyway, here we go. <laughs> So on default, lovely, there's loads and loads of presets in here and uh, to quickly find your way around here, I'd say just have a bit of a tour. Like I said, clean's extremely well catered for, but it's really the distortion is where you want to be. There's something about the uh, attack of a strap through a uh, through a Marshall, which I find very appealing. It's got a bit of a crash to the to the to the front of the note, which uh, can work extremely well if it's carefully set up. Uh, shades of early Sabbath there. However, I'm not going to play too much because I've uploaded some examples to SoundCloud and you can have a listen to those. Uh, what I do have over here is uh, um, uh, this is extremely powerful EQ. From the look of the knobs, I'd assume that it's SSL EQ, although I, I really haven't compared it to anything to really find out. But it's extremely assertive EQ and very good for, in this example, uh, so pulling back that high that there's way too much of off this particular strat. So just to have a listen to the room mic is worth doing because uh, it sounds great actually I mean it's uh, it really gets a sense of the space across which I think's very worth doing <laughs> And 
you see the roominess that's in there, at, that's very convincing. So dialing in a little bit of that behind something else. So four and four there with dry as a bone. But if I pull in a little bit of this behind it, very nice. Going across the uh, the amplifier, we've got uh, bass, treble, presence, middle, master, much like you expect. There's really not very much to get confused about in here. Um, over here, with the blending and panable microphones, you can get all sorts of different textures out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play a quick example through each of the mics over in the uh, side panel section so you can hear the difference and hear what they sound like. <laughs> So what do I think of it? Well, if you enjoy Marshalls, you'll definitely enjoy this. The Unison technology really helps with the feel of the model. And while I haven't played this in anger, I don't have to, because I'm going to defer to Paul Drew, who used this very model on this piece of music that he did for a soft tube advert. So over to Paul. Mm -hmm. 